Hi everyone. Okay, so today I'm going to do an update on the cleaning uh, of the Ember mug. So I'm going to use um, three um, cleaning agents. Uh, one's a lemon, uh, vinegar and bleach. Lemon usually works um, on all my normal coffee mugs, mainly because it's acidic and um, it's generally soft and you can use it as a um, like a cloth. So that usually, if you rub around the inside, uh, removes the tea stains. Vinegar will remove any uh, sort of scaly type buildup, uh, although technically it's you know, tea stains, coffee stains aren't really that sort of buildup, but um, it was worth trying. And finally, bleach will ensure that if you have discoloration, then it just removes the, uh, the, the, the brown stains. If you've got a white ember mug, then Hopefully that will turn white again. Unfortunately, I've got the black one, um, so uh, I won't be able to show uh, the cup going to, to a bright white. Um, but hopefully it will also remove some of the staining uh, in, in the black cup, uh, which I'll, I'll zoom in on and uh, you can see. So I'll tell you up front, uh, the results uh, of the cleaning is not great for the Ember mug. Um, it has permanently damaged the cup. Um, you'll see uh, what happens uh, as I go through the cycle of the lemon, the bleach and the vinegar. Okay, so as you can see on the side, um, there's buildup of uh, the brown stains that you get from tea and coffee. Um, you can see also on the bottom, and as I've mentioned in my previous videos, I think there's a little bit of scratching on the bottom. Um, but actually just looking at the, 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 the right at the base, if we zoom in a little bit, and there seems to be some sort of pitting. Um, so maybe there's some some damage to the uh, to the ceramic surface already. Um, I don't see how that can happen. Um, yeah, I'll have to think about that. And um, yeah, let's let's see after we clean it. Uh, see what it looks like. So here, uh, the first one, as you can see, uh, I'm uh, using the lemon. So as you saw, there were quite a lot of stains inside. So you just rub inside. I think this lemon is a bit too big. So let's cut it in half again. And just rub and squeeze the juice. Rotate the cup as you go along. you go see you can just rub it against the sides and now the bottom so you're using the rind to push against the bottom imagine going around the, uh, the actual edges at the bottom the angled edge The lemon juice looks like. Yeah, that's normal. And that's it. So uh, I'm going to pour the lemon juice back and uh, let it sit uh, for say 10 minutes and then give it a rinse. Okay, so I added some water and uh, just swished it around a bit just to give it some dilution. And that's it. So we'll give that a rinse and let that dry and see what it looks like. Kitchen towel. So if you wipe with kitchen towel, sometimes if you've got any uh, uh, staining on the sides or the bottom, um, then the towel can, can rub it off as well. So let's see if there's any left and uh, how the lemon will have worked. We'll see. Right, so after the lemon, uh, that seems uh, partially effective. Um, so if you look here, uh, you can see on the side, the majority is actually gone. Um, there's a lot less staining on the bottom, although you can still see around the center portion is, is still quite a bit. Mm, but uh, you can see that there's a few white specks there. And uh, if you zoom in, I think that's actually made the pitting worse. Um, you can visually see white parts. 
So if you zoom in there, um, yep, I think that's permanently damaged the base. Um, so the ceramic has, has, has come off uh, for some reason. Um, yeah, so um, that's after the lemon. Um, if we do another round of lemon, um, it's possible that we'll also um, uh, re remove the rest of that stain. So potentially could stay with just uh, the one uh, the one cleaning agent, uh, but I'm gonna move over to vinegar and see if that makes any difference. Okay, um, next we have the vinegar. Uh, what I've just done is taken a full bottle of vinegar and just poured it into the, the cup and um, uh, basically left it for uh, a couple of hours. I haven't risen it with water yet, still the vinegar. So just rub the sides. Okay, so I think it's mainly just um, a bit of hard labor, just removing the material at the bottom. Right, so after the vinegar, uh, you can see here, um, the sides look a little bit cleaner, um, as you can see. Um, the bottom, mm, um, it's still staining at the bottom and does that look any worse mm, a little subjective i'm not so sure um but uh it's it's not there yet. okay and finally the bleach so here we've got the basic toilet bleach and just square that in Okay, so now we're gonna give it a swirl. So this is the bleach just swirling around just to coat the inside of the, uh, of the cup. Just carry on and then add some, a uh, little bit of water, dilute it, make it a bit more runny. And then swirl again. And just carry on and use a kitchen towel um, and then just uh, rub the side of the cup at the bottom, the base and uh, to get all the edges at the bottom as well. Um, just rub as hard as you can, apply pressure and just to, to, to remove the material using the kitchen towel and the bleach. And the final rinse with water. Give it a good rinse. Get rid of all the remaining bleach. And then a final dry off with the kitchen towel. Just as rub as hard as you can. Dry it off and see if there's any material left on the kitchen towel. Nope. And looks very good. So here, the final um, clean with bleach, you can see actually it looks pretty good. Majority of the material is gone, um, just a little bit of material remaining on the side maybe, and a little bit on the bottom, but um, you can definitely see that the bottom looks like there's lots of white specks, so there's uh, clearly some damage uh, that, that I think is now permanent. So what's the conclusion? I think the first cleaning agent people should try is the bleach. So when the stains build up uh, and you can't remove it through some gentle um, friction, then um, try the bleach. Um, last resort will be something acidic like the lemon juice and uh, the vinegar. However, as you can see, um, there is some pitting uh, at the base of the cup and potentially the vinegar or the lemon juice has made that worse. Uh, I was thinking how that can happen. Um, well, it's got a heating element at the bottom and I'm assuming that the ceramic coating is very thin if you um, apply a lot of heat. Uh, obviously it does generate quite a, a bit of heat, the 62.5. Uh, degrees Celsius. Um, maybe the coating at the bottom is not quite um, thick enough and it starts to flick off. 
Um, that's that's possible. I've done that with my pans, my nonstick pans. Uh, if you overheat them, um, so yeah, it's uh, a possible um, course. So hopefully, um, they will make it thicker in the next generations, uh, so that we don't uh, get the, uh, the the flaking off of the uh, material of the, uh, the the rim and the the, the base. Um, technically, this has been approved as a you know uh, a cup for usage. So in theory, there there should be no dangers of the material if you're, you're drinking it. It should be food grade uh, materials. It's ceramic, so uh, technically should be inert. So I looked up Ember, the company. Now, they were a startup uh, from 2018, I think it was. Um, so, you know, two years plus uh, creating and inventing a, a temperature control cup. Um, I think that's fantastic. Uh, I do remember a long time ago when they they were a startup. Um, obviously, they developed the, the the first generation, then moved on to the second generation. Um, I did pull a picture off the internet here. Um, you can actually see that um, the, there's a lot of um, chips on the edge of the uh, the cup uh, along the rim. Um, so I know in some of the comments from my uh, uh, my video. Um, people have mentioned that uh, that is coming off so again that's a potential and obviously at the bottom of the base I suppose finally um, just remember uh, the cups uh, lifetime so it's good for 500 charge cycles so if you drink uh, once twice three times a day then you know you could be using the cup for a year or, or even as, as low as six months um, so um, how long it will last, it really depends on how you treat it. Um, if you bash the rim, if you leave it upside down and put it in on your table to, to dry, if you, you know, move it about upside down, it, it's going to scratch and, and uh, chip off the material. So um, take good care of it. Um, it's pretty expensive. Uh, hopefully we'll uh, see a better cup coming out with different generations, thicker material and hopefully a lower price. Okay, that's all for today. I hope you found that useful. Um, bottom right hand corner, click on that inverted squiggle and I'll put some links to some useful information. Um, and as usual, um, like and subscribe. See you next time.